the super material of the future, game changer. These phrases have been used to describe graphene, a derivative of graphite. Yes, graphite, the same material in our pencils. But while graphite is brittle and flimsy, graphene is completely the opposite. How different? To begin with, it is 300 times stronger than steel, when steel is reduced to nanometers dimensions. Graphene can change many industries. One of the main applications for graphene is in the wearable space. Can you believe that a simple 5 volt battery is enough to turn your clothes into a heater in cold regions? Graphene can be very useful in these scenarios. It is also a material that is quite early in its, um, in its implementation. The next 25 years is going to move faster, which is going to bring in need for newer materials, materials that need less fuel, materials that uh, are lighter and hence consume less fuel in use, le need less maintenance um, by being more corrosion resistant. Graphene, because of its excellent, unique properties of high corrosion resistance, extremely high electrical conductivity in one direction and being of ultra low electrical conductivity in the other. Apart from wearables, the next big change with graphene will be seen in the personal tech space. Your power banks will be much lighter while storing a lot more power. Phones can be rolled up and fit into pockets, turning every surface into a screen. Think about it. Every curtain, every table is now a screen. While graphene holds a lot of potential in the medical field, chances are it will start off on a small scale. Something as simple as a blood pressure monitor. Without any environmental load and finally finding the right application and its usage is going to be the challenge. Biggest property is this electronic properties, especially when it is in a single layer. And that's why when it started, it was looked as a replacement for the Indian tin oxide, which is used in all our cell phones. Imagine all the cell phones today are all rigid. They don't bend. But tomorrow's world is going to be curvilinear. People would love to roll up their cell phones, take them anywhere. Any surface would become a display device. On a larger industrial scale, experts are looking at graphene making big inroads in the field of polymers, rubber and paper industries. Thanks to its anti-corrosive and anti-rust properties, developments in graphene are awaited with bated breath. All this sounds amazing, but it's been 15 years since graphene was first isolated and the developments have been minuscule. A major reason is the high production costs of $50 a gram. Major players across the world are racing to find solutions to the graphene challenge. One of them is Tata Steel. A graphene development cell has been set up by Tata Steel in Jamshedpur to identify new applications of graphene. Two advanced material research centers have been established. One at Chennai in collaboration IIT Madras and the second one is at Bengaluru in collaboration with the Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences. The start might be slow but it's just a matter of time before the graphene boom. And seeing these opportunities of the future we will be the leader in the field when graphene gets properly commercialized and implemented in the market.